Hey guys, it's your boy Kurt Perez and welcome back to my FIFA 17 Liverpool career mode where I lost some left off. I picked up wins in the, I win in the FA Cup over Hull and I he won the second leg of my he, he, Elite Cup semi-final against Manchester United to go fully through to the final, but that was the last episode. This episode is big. As you can see, first up is Chelsea. This is the biggest match so far of this career mode. Going into this match, I have a no okay lead over Chelsea, but if I win this, I will have, I will feel like I have one hand on that Premier League trophy, and once I get that grip, I will be pitbull-like. I will not be really. So, Chelsea. Welcome to you all. I'm Martin Tyler. Alan Smith is with me as always. We'll try not to make. Let's see. The but there might be some slips out on the pitch, Alan. In these if they can, you can get something from this match, or is this the Premier League race? It won't officially, but does the Premier League race end here? And now, you saw the table. Oh. oh, yes, I can go 22 points, 22 points clear of Chelsea. Yes, they have a game in hand, that's a little bit of an annoyance, but that's not really going to be too big of an issue, because with this, it's the three points that Chelsea would pull back are only going to put them back to the, the yeah, gap that it is at right now. Sadio Mane joins up. What, 19? But that's only if Chelsea win said game in hand. There's no guarantee. They could draw it, they could lose it. Anything is possible. All I know is. Thibaut Courtois starts in goal. Aspilicueta starts with Branislav Ivanovic. Full focus on this win. And the key title will be... Again, not officially, but it will be all but confirmed to be heading to Anfield. He might be through. Say how many. Coutinho. Coutinho, looking for Sturridge, Mane, he will find him, Mane is 1-0, Daniel Sturridge opens the scoring against his former club, hey, I actually managed to do the hold his hands up celebration, it's where I just pressed Dex, I guess, it, maybe Daniel Sturridge is programmed to go, oh, oh, I'm playing against Chelsea, or, hold my hands up and say, he will put not to over. He, he. Class act, Daniel. Class act. Has opened the scoring. 1 0 here. Javi <laughs> Martinez. Excellent interception. Bobby Firmino. This is an exercise in patience. A lovely one, too. I'm back again. And, and this back and forth shit is uh, somewhat entertaining. I could, I guess, I, I guess you could say. Ivanovic. Coutinho. 
trying to stretch the opposition using the wider areas here. Stay on Mane. Sturridge! 2 0. Oh, oh. Holds his hands up. And, but, but regardless of where Daniel Sturridge wants to celebrate the, the goal, goals or not, the point is, is his score for two from two. And Chelsea are in quite a bit of bother. <laughs> Starting at 2-0. It's 13 and 14 for the season for Daniel Sturridge. Makes me wonder, or should I have started him from the start? James Milner. That's weird. In real life, Daniel Sturridge can can even get into the team. He, he, um, my. Right stop. Hey, career, in my career mode, he's uh, become a permanent fixture. I mean, once he gets injured, then he has to take it extended. Even someone bangs in even more goals than he did in his absence. That would be like the only situation that could see him. Taking out of the squad. A lot of talk about Chelsea's future and the development of Stamford Bridge. I think they're still looking for the right kind of uh, planning permission rather than move away. Come on. Where, as the ground is redeveloped, it's difficult, isn't it? Where they are in West London, I mean, Arsenal and Tottenham are able to can we we'll get rid of that? It's as simple at Chelsea so far, they're so good. Nice, comfortable 2 0 lead, as is for Nino. Could make a chance with this, can he can. So Mane or storage? It'll come to Mane. It's three. Is it? Why isn't some? Must be offside. I was wondering why it didn't change. Your view now, Alan, on the replay. Oh, he was offside when storage. But that's not a pass. That shouldn't be offside. Disappointed with that touch. That is completely freaking retarded. And they're still going backwards all the way to the goalkeeper. He went in well. Eden Hazard. Well, this attack. Eden Hazard. I slid in too late. Shit. Shit! Oh, thank goodness Aspilicueta is not a striker, or, or at least an attacking midfielder. Thank goodness he's a defender, or, or that could have been bad. And the counter-attack, if he can get past Martinez, it's probably going to be 3-0. Sturridge, Mane, back to Coutinho! You've got to be kidding me. Ah, oh, it's probably that touch he takes to control it. Ah, oh, Phil, Phil, this is not how you celebrate. He going up to an A7 Ray player. Or I don't know if you guys noticed that, but yeah, Tino's going up to an A7 Ray player. Not sure how he's getting all these uh, points, and man, is still stuck on 80. He's only got up once since the Guerrero began. Coutinho's already got up, up, up two. I mean, Coutinho's playing fantastic. He again deserves his recognition for that, but Sayo Mane is the top goals for him. And this 
Suck on E. Attacking now. I was expecting him to be A283 by now. Diego Costa. And it's not like I'm putting Coutinho into the uh, thing. I mean, I could if I wanted to, but... This game, it can't really make up its mind who it wants to randomly assign a... Uh, Overall boosts too. I don't think that's an outrageous figure. Because otherwise, Manny would get one almost every month. Especially, at least this season, anyway. Into the attacking third. The shot gets blocked. It's going out for a corner. Alaba. Oh, imagine. That would have been a fantastic time for your first go for the club of diet. David. David Alaba. He's coming forward with some courage. It's good play until they got that challenge in. Oh. An hour gone here, and still 30 minutes left. It back with Good seven. challenge by Joel Matip, but no one wants to come over and get it except Costa. What would have come from that, you know? Because fuck doing actual defensive work. Right? And he could get away here. Manny, what ball? What ball to Sonny or Manny? Oh, God, what the noise. 3 0 again. The ball of dreams. The Code 12 pulls off an equally fantastic save. It's a very good It's Mane again! The deflection is going to take it out for another corner. Keeper comes and oh, it's it's no great risk. One of those stupid crosses that doesn't. That goes, that curls in or some shit. Yeah. Oh, yes! Kotwal made a mistake! Oh, and Martinez has to get rid of it. That was. Chelsea. His unlucky. Last two times that's happened, I was able to capitalize. He's. Uh, not on that occasion. I probably should have gone for the chip now, I think. So. Potential in this move. I would have just have to put enough power on it and go forward when it got there. Corner here for Liverpool. Milner. James Miller! Sorry, Hammond's never no, called no. by what he's properly called. Termina. Costa is going to take that off. Well, a real treat in store for you. Coverage on EA Sports of the Premier League fixture. Confirmation of the second game in this episode. For a league match against Hull. So this uh, game is getting a bit repetitive now. I mean, it's play the same teams in the cup and the league so close to each other. Same deal with Manchester United in the last few episodes. And three matches against them, excuse me. Looking good this move. Chippy! Third for the hat trick! Daniel Sturridge scores a hat trick! Nick and Chelsea are are 100% defeated. The league is over. I mean, come on. Now I need to lose about seven games. Seven games. Like I'm gonna lose seven games.
That is goal number 15 for Liverpool's number 15. But the important number here is not 15, it's not 3, it's 22. Attacking well here. As in 22 points, the gap. Promising build up until that challenge. And there is little Chelsea can do about it. Manny, is he going to rub salt in the wounds? Yes, he is. He's going to add a four. Or, say, I'm going to get his go. Oh, he doesn't want Daniel Sturridge having all the fun. What's this? Oh, he, he, whoop, nope. <laughs> A, a walk over and they often get games like this at this particular level but it's very slight to see but it almost looked like he was gonna shoot it one way and they hit it the other way. Okay. I don't know what button they pressed to make him do that but, but hey <laughs> that's 30 goals for Manny <laughs> Star scores three he's on fifteen and he scores one and is on 30. That tells you how one sided the goal scoring has really been. Very one sided. Yeah, you end up feeling a bit disappointed as a neutral because we didn't really get a contest, but. And Chelsea should really be given mad props to uh, Courtois, despite the fact that he did concede four in this match. If he wasn't on top form, it could have been seven or eight. Coutinho. But it is four. It's a hat trick for Daniel Surridge. And a little, little bit of a salt in the wound skull from Sadio Mane. And all is good. Chelsea. Yeah. At the top of the Premier League. There we go, 22 points. Yes, Chelsea do have that game in hand, but it's of little con concern. Really, it is a very minimal concern. Because, like I said, even if they win that match, they go back to 19 points and behind. I still would have to lose 7 games. As is, now I need to lose eight games, which is almost the whole of the remaining season. But only behind on goal difference. In eighth, Arsenal with 31 points. Bottom of the table, Burnley with 13 points. And then reading up the table, second bottom, Watford with 17 points. Third bottom, Leicester City with 18 points, with a game in hand. So, yeah. Not in the slightest way am I worried. And I shouldn't be. I am cruising. Yes. Like being in a car with cruise control. I can just sit back. I can just keep one winning. And the title will be mine. Well, to be fair, that's true in any season. But... I've built such a good lead, I don't really have to even win that many more games. Tell me to... It says a lot. Like I said, it's eight games. And so I would have to lose. And Chelsea would have to win eight games. There's no guarantee that they... We can win eight games, because if I let the game show you the league table again, unless you, you can skip past this if you remember it, but just for those, those who completely blanked it there. You can see Chelsea have already effect up in, in six other games. Why do I say six? Because two of their losses have been against me. So, 
and I don't, I won't be playing them again this season, unless I come up against them in, in the uh, FA Cup, and that doesn't translate to the league. So they have had five draws and one defeat, other than those games that they play in lost against me. So that's the 10 and 3. 13 points that they've lost themselves. Say in those 18 games, they lost 13 points. No, no, not 18 games. 8 games. If in 8 games they lose 13 points, that is a majority of their points that they lost in those eight games. From eight games, you get 24 points if you win all eight. If they lose 13, they are pro they only get 11 points. Which, roughly, is three wins and two draws from eight games. That would mean they've lost three more matches and drawn two more. Strong challenge. Well, the ball's been deflected. Their draws on seven and their losses on six. Oh, it could be dangerous. No real test. So that that would be a bad scenario for Chelsea. Now this is all hypothetical. They could win all their remaining games, but I would still win the league. I would still only need to keep winning on my end to win the league because is I at the moment I only need to win. Seven, maybe eight games, depending on what Chelsea do in that game in hand. That game in hand, I don't know who they're playing and I don't know when. So that's that's a bit of an issue. They cope with it well defensively. Well I'll have to really look into that. Although I think I might have an idea who it might be. Well stuck out of foot. Cut off the pass. It's looking good this move. I think Maybe it might be one of the Manchester clubs. And what makes me say that? Because of the Manchester clubs have gotten this far in the um, in the League Cup. Of course, I beat Manchester United in the semis, and City are going to be playing against me in the final. been a goal at the Hawthorns, I think, Alan McAnally. It's a goal for West Bromwich Albion. It's been scored by Salomon the Rondon. So, with that, you can assume that it might be one of the Manchester clubs. Now, I have no premise for this. I have no guarantee that it's one of the Manchester clubs. It's just, it might make sense if it were. It could be anyone. It could be any, it could literally be any team other than me. Me? Obviously, obviously it couldn't be. It's me because then they wouldn't have a game in hand. We'd be on the same uh, games. Comes in with a tackle. Durr. He's coming. Is this that seems like it could be a likely possibility? That might be one of Manchester. Clubs. Either Manchester club could beat Chelsea. Oh. On any different day, any team can beat any team. You know what well I'm going to? Last season, despite all odds, it's to the contrary, freaking Leicester City won the Premier League. If Leicester City can win the fucking Premier League, then a team like Hull could beat Chelsea. Think 
Paul have already played Chelsea twice. But that's not the fucking point. So the past coming. Actually, now that I think about it, Hull have played Chelsea twice. I remember them playing against Chelsea. He, he back in January. Not quite the man here today. Sturridge just below his normal high standards. Well, he's got it. And I was very angry that they had won that match. They lost it 3 0, if memory serves me correctly. It's Philip Coutinho. Safety first there. I'm sorry, Chelsea today. So I guess that they are playing tomorrow. Players are a bit tired. I should really have um, Ruben Mar and um, Moore on the bench instead of uh, Ruben Mar and Moya because Mar is higher rated than Moya. It's a easily end up the case that Moya is brought on at some point in this match and he goes off and gets the winner. Or, or he might get the winner, or he'll run straight into McGregor because he's, he's who needs logic? Who needs it? It's overrated. Liverpool take over possession again. And there's Miller. Manny, Sadio Manny, Manny. Are you freaking kidding me? Can. Now he's looking for. If I knew Klein! Oh! Liverpool will get the throw. It wouldn't be the first time recently that Nathaniel Klein popped up with a crucial goal. When a tight game. Well, here's a chance to get their noses in front from the corner. Say a Manny. Manny! <gasps> what? What? How? 30 goals! And one of his easiest chances he misses! There's good progress with this attack. Lamar. Very straightforward save for the goalkeeper. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. That didn't just happen. The game did not just tell him to pass it to the fucking keeper and start passing it to Mane like I wanted him to pass it to Mane. I press X. X. I'm holding the direction of but the analog stick in the direction of fucking Sadio Mane. He, he, but Tiki fucking passes it to McGregor because that's what I really wanted to happen. And, oh, I don't want to win this match. I want Chelsea to get back into the fucking title race after I say they're fucking out of it. Well, it's been very even. That's the way it's looked to us as a game, and the possession stats certainly confirm that. Senior. Remember. Oh my god. I realize you were you're kind of blocked off, but the referee is not, not that smart. Right. Why didn't you go down? So now a goal kick to Either go down or power through. So oh, down. Don't be a pussy and just, ugh. Oh, I can't get past. Fucking tick as a fucking door. Looking good this move. I love that. That is a free kick. Free kick. Thank you. Most of that decision. James Milner. Milner! Oh my god.
Just a little nudge to nudge you in the direction of what's coming Genie. up. Genie. Coutinho. Back to Genie Wijnaldum. Arsenal away from home. Yeah, really looking forward to this one. Uh, I think we're going to see some good football. Coutinho. Ribamar. Of course not. Oh, it's still oh, just ignore it, James. Just ignore it. Just ignore it. You cunt. Yes. No. Mane, how did you miss? Mane, how did you miss? Look at his reaction for missing not just this. Sadio, how did you miss? We're down now to the final two minutes of the 90. Emre Chan. James Milner. Someone make a run. Thank you. Alaba. Sadio Mane. Surely this time. Yes! Get the fuck in! In additional time, Sadio Mane scores. Let's get in! No dropping point! Hints. Hints. Well, this is incredible. They've surely won the match with this goal. The last kick of the match. Well, it's great for the striker. Just when the pressure's on, when it's begging. Get in! We had seemed to be stuck in a bit of a stone. Yes! That is all I need to say. And I've got the reward. That's what I'm talking about! Yes! Ring and stuff like that is a little fucking concerned to me. What concerns me is that point total. Chelsea may have two games in hand, but I just put a whole lot of fucking pressure on them, didn't I? <laughs> what is your response to that, Conte? Middlesbrough two, Watford two, Burnley one. West Brom Calvary two, Stoke City two. In the next episode, I have games against both North London clubs against Arsenal and Spurs. Spurs. On the team above. In third, Stoke City. Can I increase? The gap a little bit more and maybe get that little bit closer to the Premier League title. To find out, we're going to have to tune in next time. Until then, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Smash the like button if you did subscribe if you're new. And until next time, I hope you all have a very, very nice day. Peace! Bottom of the table, Burnley with 13 points. And then reading up the table, second bottom and falling are Leicester City with 18 points, with a game in hand on the team above. Third bottom, rising up the table, are